Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to present my paper on the role of multi-slice CT scanner in the assessment of osteomatal complex of paranasal sinuses in chronic sinusitis patients. Now, we are going to discuss about the introduction, objectives, material and methods, results, discussion, conclusion, and references. So, osteomatal complex is a small compartment located in the region between the middle turbinate and the lateral nasal wall in the middle meatus. It represents a final common pathway for drainage and ventilation of the frontal, maxillary, and the anterior ethmoid cells. Any obstruction by the anatomical variation thus can cause chronic sinusitis. So, in this image, we can see this is the orbit, this is the medial one of the orbit. This is the middle turbinate. This area is the middle meatus. This is the nasal septum, ancillate process, inferior turbinate, and the maxillary sinus. So, a precise knowledge of the normal anatomy of paranasal sinus is essential, especially for the clinicians, so that they can perform the endoscopic sinus, sinus surgery and they can plan the surgery. Conventional radiographs are of limited diagnostic value as they don't allow for a robust analysis of the anatomical variants and has a poor sensitivity for the mucosal disease in the paranasal sinus. CT is a non-invasive procedure. It has ability to delineate anatomical detail and the mucosal disease of the sinus. CT has ability to image distal structures such as posterior ethmoid and the sphenoid sinuses. So, for these reasons, CT scan is the imaging, imaging modality of choice. It is important for the radiologist to be aware of the osteomatal complex variants and describe them in a comprehensive way for the clinicians. Objective of the study is to study the anatomical variations of the osteomatal complex on CT scan and to find frequency of various anatomical variations in the patients of chronic sinusitis which are attending or coming to the uh, Maharishi Markandeshwar Medical College Hospital, Kumarati Sunni Himachal Pradesh. This is a prospective study conducted from January 2021 to December 2021 with sample size of 100 cases and inclusion criteria of clinically diagnosed chronic sinusitis patients. Exclusion criteria included patients with previous alteration of the paranasal sinus due to facial trauma or previous surgery or neoplasm of the sinonasal mucosa. Material and methods. CT was performed on 128 slide Philips CT scanner. Patients were scanned in supine position. Axial sections were taken in with 1 mm thickness and coronal and sagittal reformats were done with thickness of 1 mm. So coming to the results. So this is for the prevalence of the anatomical variation in chronic sinusitis patients. And we found that the, approximately there was 85% anatomical variations noted and only 15% of the patient had normal anatomy with chronic sinusitis. Now, only uh, 39% patient had one anatomical variance, but there were 61 patients who had more than one anatomical variations of the anatomy with chronic sinusitis. Now, this is the coronal reformat image, which, uh, which demonstrates a deviated nasal septum with convexity towards the right side. In the, on the image on the right hand side, which is coronal reformat image. It, it also shows a deviated nasal septum towards the right side with a pony spur. And there is a concobulosa seed, which is the nematization of the middle, middle turbinate. In this coronal reformatted image, we can see a nematized and deviated uncinate process seen bilaterally. Now, on this cor coronal reformatted image, we can see a paradoxal middle turbinate, which is when the con concavity of the middle turbinate is present towards the nasal septum. This coronal reformatted image shows bilateral agar nasi cells, which are the 
anterior most ethmoid layer cells. In this coronal reformat image, we can see infraorbital ethmoid air cell unilaterally, which are the HALAR cells seen on the right side. Now coming to the discussion with comparison of our study with Anita et al. Anita et al. showed anatomical variations in cor cor chronic sinusitis patients in approximately 87%. And our study showed that 85% of the patient had anatomical variations in chronic sinusitis patients. So we can, in our study, we could see uh, that conca bullosa was present unilaterally in 15.3% of the patient. Paradoxal turbinate was present in 5.9% of the patients. Deviated uncinate process was present in the 4.7% of the patients. Agar nasi cells were seen in 2.3% of the patients unilaterally. And HLR cells were seen unilaterally in 1.2% of the patients. Conca bullosa was seen bilaterally in 11.7% of the patient. Paradoxal middle turbinate was seen in 2.3% of the patient. Deviated uncinate process was seen bilaterally in 1.2% of the patient. And agar nasi was seen in 1.2% of the patients bilaterally. So concluding, this study re-emphasized the fact that anatomical variation in osteometrial complex in chronic sinusitis is frequent, can be multiple, and may act as a key factor in causing chronic sinusitis. Best appreciated on CT scan, and it should not be excluded exclusively to diagnose chronic sinusitis, but CT provides the supplementary clinical data with the history in concluding the patients with the chronic sinusitis patients. So a careful evaluation of anatomical variation by CT scan is necessary, especially for those undergoing endoscopic surgery. The radiologists play a vital role in providing the information required by the surgeons that may predispose patient to increase risk of intraoperative complications. And these are my references.